motion. A horse running free is a breathtaking sight. Every nerve, every muscle, every sinew perfectly tuned, designed for their movement. Movement without restriction. A horse and rider together can be a different sort of poetry. Moving as one, working together. A sort of team that has its own special magic. Now though, the horse is not free of restrictions. Apart from the physical demands of its task, it has a bridle, a saddle and a rider to contend with. It's a sight we take for granted, but horses weren't born with these accessories. And one in particular can make the pleasure of daily exercise a daily nightmare. The importance of a correctly fitted saddle can never be underestimated from the point of view of the horse's comfort and even for the horse and rider's relationship because a lot of behavioural problems and long-term back injuries can be the result of an ill-fitting saddle. But choosing the right saddle can be an overwhelming decision unless, of course, you have the expertise of a master saddler. I don't think too many people realise that um, a saddle is actually not fitting correctly. Um, probably most likely because they haven't been taught how to how to fit a saddle correctly by whoever they've learnt from or what, what their books have read and so forth. Not many people realise that how much it can improve their riding and improve the horse's performance if the saddles fit correctly. Peter Horriban has been making saddles since he was 15 years of age. At that time, living with his family in Germany, he gained an apprenticeship with the Master Saddlers of Hanover a company that had been making arguably the world's finest saddles for 150 years. The knowledge and experience he's brought home with him is something of a treasure in a country that generally believes the world's best equestrian saddles can only be imported from Europe. Now here we have a saddle that fits incorrectly on a horse. We start sitting way too high at the front, off the wither. There's a good four fingers distance in the weather, in the gullet area. That's how you measure it? Yes, that's a rough measurement which everybody uses these days and it's been used for a long time. The blood doesn't circulate as well. Peter custom makes saddles to horses' specific body shapes, but he also takes the time to run clinics and educate as many people as he can about exactly where and how things can go wrong. Too hard. So if you have an ill-fitting saddle, it's not a matter of starting again from scratch. You can actually modify your own saddle. Yeah, this is it. Often people think that they have to go out and sell their saddle and buy a new one. But a lot of things can be done to alter the saddle to make, the, make it fit the horse. Not only is it important that the saddle fits the horse, but also important that the rider chooses the right saddle for the type of riding they're doing. This year you have a dressage saddle uh, with a very nice deep seat and long straight flat. Over here is a jumping saddle forward cut flap for um, shorter stirrups for jumping. Over here then we have the racing saddle which is very forward cut for when the jockeys are running very short stirrups and spend most of their time out of the saddle. They rarely sit in the saddle during the racing. And the stock saddle mostly used for um, stockmen and also uh, general purpose riding, trail riding. Um, you have the supportive knee pads here and a nice deep seat all for the support of the rider and a long straight flap. I spend as much time as I possibly can teaching people and uh, showing them about how a saddle should fit and, and what problems it causes if they don't fit properly. But to make a saddle and, and have it fitting the horse like that, then the rider's eventually happy with it. It's a good feeling. One very satisfied duo are Del Ogilvie and Go and Behold. The two are in training for the Sydney Olympics. From a professional rider's point of view, um, I find it, it's an enormous amount of help to allow the horse to have his natural freedom, like his normal gaits that you have out in the paddock by himself. And to have a rider sitting on a horse's back and the saddle as well as correctly fitted just enhances the horse's movement so much better that he's actually doing Mother Nature's natural gait that, that she gave the horse. The saddle I was using, I found that sat me back into the seat of the saddle somewhat. And the horse was quite tense in himself and just very reluctant to want to go forward and be very elastic in his movement, which is so important from a competition point of view.
Adele is not the only rider at elite level that's benefited from the craftsmanship of Peter's saddles. His expertise is sought after in every possible corner of our equestrian athletics. Nor though does Peter limit himself to any particular area. Melissa Lucas, a disabled rider we visited some time ago, had a dream come true when Peter's specially modified saddle enabled her to ride. I'm a bit concerned that the, the trade doesn't keep dying out and uh, we end up just importing everything from other countries and we haven't got any, any of our own salary made right here in Australia um, for the quality of anywhere else in the world. To keep the skills alive, Peter has two apprentices amongst his staff of six, handcrafting saddles using methods well over a century old, methods that for now won't be lost. It's sometimes be very frustrating when uh, I've got to make a, a saddle fit um, two moving components, like fitting a horse that's a moving animal and, and also a rider. But once I've accomplished that to make them both happy, well, it's uh, very um, rewarding to see that that all comes together well and, and I've got one happy customer.